we've got it. We've also got a promo, which this one is um, Castle Dracula, the uh, Valderan estate. So, you know, nice, nice card for Vampire Tribal. I think this is the one that uh, everyone gets for a box. But we've got that. I did open um, a pre-release kit and um, decided to also get in on some other stuff. So we also got these promos. We've got a nice Mindstone. Unfortunately, it's foil, so not too happy for me, but happy for someone else, I guess. Uh, a bowl of Citadel, very nice. Again, not happy for me, but in terms of money, I guess. Uh, I'm sure I'll sell them off. And as I said, I did get into a pre-release. Um, and the pre-release wasn't, you know, I didn't participate or whatever. I just, you know, decided to join and say, hey, I'm going to just join, concede, basically, and see what I get. Shits and gigs, basically. So, nice one mythic um, in the lot um, for just the kits as normal. Uh, the promo uh, dominating vampire for that. Uh, Olivia's attendance as the um, the uh, release day promo. Dig up, Dim Root Castle or whatever it's called. The new uh, blue green slow land. Um, Blood Veil Purveyor. Uh, Geist. So if I had have done this deck, I got um, Change of Fortune. I probably would have gone red, but I don't know. And of course, Edgar as the tomb as well. Pretty nice. But as I said, I conceded those games. So immediately I got my two prize packs. And I actually opened them first. And ba-bam! <laughs> we got both of these boys... And I'm very, very happy with both of these. Um, this, I'm still thinking about what I'm doing with my Olivia deck. But Stefan, very nice. Uh, this means I don't really have to buy the Commander Precon to get this card now. Of course, now I've pulled it, I'll probably open it again, but whatever. Um, and of course, Cultivator Colossus. This thing is going right in my Omnath deck. Um, and I've already put in um, the other half abundance into that deck just because it was already really good but just with this it's just off the chain stupid so those are two of the cards that we really really wanted um so i don't know how good this box is gonna be to us um because we've already got two of the you know maybe half a dozen cards that we want but you know we're still gonna open it we're still gonna see what's um inside what we can pull um you know what what goodies we can get out just for you guys to see what I can pull. Uh, so I'll get right to it. Alrighty. I've turned the lights on just because I thought it was a little bit dark before I opened this. But what have you. These are set boosters. So we do have a slight higher chance to get... Um, some other cards. Now, as I said, I did uh, do that pre-release, but I haven't really looked at the commons and uncommons that much. Um, there's not that many that are super duper, you know, like mind blowing, mind bending, and we've got a um, topper, so that could be very good, very bad, very medium. I don't know. I have not looked at what the toppers are can be um anything like that so we're going to just have to open this to see what we sort of get i'm going to try to put those up over there and wherever i can i like i'm running out of space here unfortunately uh there is not enough space there is never enough space uh for things so it's just trying to find some space all right so I think we'll save this to the end and see how we go. I'll put that over there, I guess, for now. And if I can ever make space, 
the things. All right, there we go. That'll do for now. All right. <laughs> there's there's lots of things. All right. There's lots of things. I love the pull tabs. Whoops. I love the pull tabs because that makes it so much easier to undo. We'll be doing a lot of these uh, soon for um, the store. But for now, we're just doing some for ourselves. And besides, like, pulling these ones out that have the sign, these are, look at, it's just, these are very nice. These, of course, are very nice too. We obviously want to find as many of these nice full arts as we can, but they're not super duper exciting. Of course, I'm not going to go through too much of the commons, or the uncommons, really. All right, another Pulavea. I think we, we had that just a moment ago. The art is very nice on some of these alt arts, but the cards themselves, there's not much here. Uh, he's pretty cool. That, the art on these cards also, it's just very nice. However, there's not a great deal of value in any of it. But having said that, it is still very nice. I want to get rid of these packs. Oh, we got a foil one. So if I get a signed one, I'll show it off uh, with those cards. But otherwise, nice that we've got an abrade, kind of, I guess. Nice to see that reprint. But otherwise, I won't bother with them uh, for the most part. Because I don't think they're that interesting. Oh, that's, that's kind of... Ooh, I almost thought... I was looking at this here and I sort of thought that that was a miscut or something but it's not but that's kind of cool open world oddity I don't know what to do with that I don't know whether to keep it I think it is good certainly as I sort of said but I don't know I don't know whether to keep it for myself I don't love to transform it I don't really like flip cards that much so it's there like I'm not going to keep these foils either as I don't like foils very much, but still, they're there. It's interesting to see where the rares kind of turn up. Is this a flip? It is a flip, yeah. I know what that is on the other side. It's, it exists on the other side. That's that's about it for the other side of that. Alright. Another foil. It's It's funny how many foils you get these um just the basics and things like that so it's also sometimes a little well, <laughs> it's also sometimes a bit annoying just trying to find like where the actual like cards are in the in the box it's always the thing about set boosters but that is a mythic we've got a chandra emblem is it an emblem oh, it is an emblem about to say is it <laughs> I thought it, there's some weird things that they do with some of these cards. It's not an emblem, but it's in emblem, sort of. So I was wondering whether it was an actual emblem, but whatever. It is an emblem. That's just the card we got. There we go. How about that? And foil land. Of course, I'd rather not actually get any of the foil lands, to be honest, or almost none. As few as possible. As few. Oh! Well, that's back-to-back -back mythics. That's a decent mythic. I was actually thinking about building an enchantment deck around this hollowed haunting. Ah, oh, it's nothing good. Uh, birthing beige. De beige. I actually had that in my squirrels for like five minutes until like Masswood Nexus came out. And I was like, well, that's just a lot better. <laughs> it's just a lot better. All right. What do we got? Uh, ooh, Spider. Oh, this is from the exclusive Commander cards. So that one's there, I guess. Ooh, I know some people want to build around this guy. But that's a, it's that's the third Mythic we've got in a row. That's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I don't know how many Mythics are on average, but, you know, we've got a couple. Not the ones we're looking for. So I'm looking for an Olivia. 
But of course we won't get Olivia. We'll get something else and something else. What does this one do? I, I, I looked at these cards. I read what they did. But then I'm just like, there's so much else going on. It's just like, I cannot remember what it, almost any of these do. Uh, oh yeah, Mills cards. All right. So nothing. Okay, bargain. Fine. I, the game was strictly better. We play that game. We play that game was strictly better. We played it. We played it a bit. And we might do it again. Who knows? If we find a card that's strictly better, we might uh, play that strictly better game again. Nice. Oh, there's a sign one. So that's Miss Miss Angie in this one, which is quite ironic, actually. That's funny. That's all right. That's interesting. Interesting that it's Miss Angie. There we go. Because we were talking about Miss Angie the other day. Interesting. All right. Random commons and uncommons. Random bad rare. Ooh. Is aura shard still good? I don't know. I don't like aura shards. Or shards is a bit poopy, in my opinion. That's just me, though. That's just me. I just don't... I, it's really good. Don't get me wrong, in a sense, but I just don't like it. It's just a bit too good, in a sense. Uh, ooh, actually, whoops. I just put the... I've just put things in the complete ran, wrong order completely. And I don't know where I messed up. Oh, I love to mess up, especially when I'm trying to do this for you guys. Uh, so professional, right? Wow. Boo, turn it off. You know, who hired this guy? All right, I didn't mess up that badly. All right, jeez. Just, I don't know where I'm putting cards anymore sometimes. It, I see people do it so much, and I go, how did you not remember where you were putting cards? But sometimes it's just like, I don't know where I was putting them. All I saw was the top card, and the top card was an uncommon. Because I accidentally put it in the wrong place. All right, cool. We haven't made that big of a mistake. All right. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, my God. Squirrels is going to be so, so happy with this. Oh, my God. This is one of the cards that I wanted for that deck. Oh my god. And it's the full art one, which is exactly what we wanted. Not a foil one, which is exactly, exactly what we wanted. Oh man, I'm so happy with that. I don't care what the I don't care what the rest is. I don't care what the rest of the box is, dude. Oh we've almost got all the cards we want. But I know you guys care, so we'll keep going. And, you know, like, the rest is now almost gravy, as long as we can find an Olivia, I guess. Um, well, actually, that is the one card we really need. We really need an Olivia. Unless we can find enough to trade for an Olivia. That is the other thing. Oh, what does this thing do? Oh, yeah, that thing. All right, yeah. I just remembered what it did after reading it, reading two lines of text of what it does. It flips into that enchantment that they die after, like, three turns or whatever. That is kind of cool, but very janky. Though I think some people might do something with it. I don't think I put it in any of the videos, but still. It exists as a alternate win condition, essentially, I guess, or an alternate kill condition. Sure. Oh, wow. I, uh, so, this proves to me, because I didn't know 100%, that you can get foil alt art cards in these. Um, so, that's very lucky. In a, as I said, with the death, um, with the dual land, we did not want a foil. So, we've gotten very lucky to get exactly what we wanted. Not the foil, but the full art. I know some people like foils, but not me. I just don't like foils. I do not like Pringles. I do not like Pringly cards. I like Pringles, but not Pringly cards. So what does this do? Oh, okay, cool. Yep. That's Boo. Furry Boo. And not like Mints Boo. Just Boo. Like Boo, get it out of here. Get them out of here. 
All right. So many times we just like whiff on getting any of the, like we did whiff on getting three rares. We whiff on getting four rares. We always get one or two, one or two, one or two, one or two. It's always the way. It's better when we at least get two. It's just, it's, it's, it's funny that there's so many chances to get a rare or whatever, and we just, whoosh, no, nope, not for you. These piles, I, I swear, these piles, they're already out of control, like two minutes in, well, we're not literally two minutes into this video, but we are, we're not very long into this video in multiple ways. And yet everything is already a complete mess over here. So excuse me for a moment while I'm trying to fix my own mess that I've made over here. And it'd be nice if I had fingers, you know. It would be nice to have actual fingers, you know. And actually be able to pick things up. Alright. Alright, back back to it I don't know exactly where to pop it down just because I need to get rid of the pack ASAP because I do not want it in my way while I'm actually opening things alright serve fine whoops wrong pile If we were building zombies, that would be kind of cool. I'm not building zombies. Not building any tribal decks except for squirrels. That's the only tribal deck that I want to know about. Don't want to know about the rest. But yes, like, it's so funny to when you go, yes, there's this much percent of... You know, getting two rares, there's this much percent of getting three rares, there's this much percent of getting, you know, uh, four rares, there's this much percent of getting, you know, a list card, there's, you know, this much percent of this. So, um, okay, that, that, so weird, like, I think I did read this, but. Wait, no, I didn't. I didn't read this card. Or did I? This must be from the precon deck. Hmm. Okay. Just, like, that's the thing. Like, when you come across cards like that, you just go, wait, what? What is this? <laughs> like, what's going on with this? This is not a card off the list that I read when I was, like, doing things. I was like, what? What is this? Alright, anyway. Just keep whiffing. That's the thing. It's just like, whiff, 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 whiff. So many whiffs at, you know, possible rares. Set boost is supposed to be a bit better, but honestly, I don't know. They are a bit better, but I think they've also just made standard packs um, a lot better. So, but it is what it is, especially with these new commander exclusive cards. They've made it a bit better. I, what was that? That was a card that we just about saw. I think I almost saw it. I thought I saw it was four colors, maybe. Oh, well, that's a... Ooh, okay. Wedding ring. Okay, a wolf. Sure. Finally getting more than one rare. Fine. Okay, you're telling Nephilim. I knew it was one of the Nephilim, but I just didn't know which one. I saw four colors, and I saw Nephilim. But I didn't know which one it was, because I just don't know them by which, by what. I just go, the not green one. Uh, 
And again, we're just like whiffing so hard. We got a couple of decent cards. Like, yeah, sure, we got decent cards. That's not exactly the point. We're looking for very specific cards, and like, we'll probably be disappointed because we're looking for, I at least am looking for very specific cards. And unless it's that card or, you know, those cards, it's just like, ah oh, yes, these are cards, they exist. I, ooh, I didn't realise that that was a signature at first, but there you go. Another signature, this is Daybreak Combatants. Okay, cool. Foil Islands. But yeah, you know, like, just like, that could be rare, that could be rare, that could be rare. There's an actual rare, which isn't even that good. <laughs> we got a list card. Not a good list card, but a list card. Mm. Alright. Can't complain. Can't complain. Alright, fine. Well, okay, what's this? Okay, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. And they put must have put that in there because it exploits back in the um, in the set. This, I didn't know they did exploit in uh, dragons. Um, we've got a card in the wrong place. As if that never happens. <laughs> okay, what's this? Oh yeah, this this girl. Yeah, that's kind of cool, but... Ooh, I know someone who wanted this. So we might hold on to that for somebody who, who really wants it, or whatever. Unfortunately, I think... We've got one... Oh wait, that's not a rare. That's a... Oh, that's... It is a rare, but it's not a mythic. I think that's probably... Oh no, we've got a couple of these other rare, other mythics. Actually, nah, look, we've got four or five regular mythics. So, I do think that that might be almost it for our luck with mythics. But, you never know, you never know. But yes, I do think that that could be the last one we get. So, not very likely to get an Olivia at this point. Which makes me very sad. Because pretty much that's the only card we're kind of looking for now. Pretty much. I can't think of other cards off the top of my head that we're looking for. Foil rare is fine, but it's not what we're looking for. As I said, we're looking for very, like, very specific cards. And unless it's that, to me, it's just like, well, it's there and it's whatever. To you guys, you might go, oh wow, you've got this, and you've got that, and I'd love to trade for that, or I'd love to get that, that's a great card, you know, I want to put it in this deck, or, you know, that's the thing, like, unless you've got a specific use, or a specific reason for, a, for something, it's not useful to you, like, there's so many other things that, you, if you looked at, like, one of these cards that isn't useful for, to you, you just go, oh yeah, it's there, you know. That's the same for me. I'm just like, I don't have use for these. I don't need these. Um, so it's very much, what's the point? Um, and just some of them aren't, you know, mind-blowingly good. So it's just like, oh, sure. <laughs> just sort of skim across them because... You know, they're not what we're looking for, and of course, as I said, we're probably not going to get what we're looking for at this point. But, you know, we're just on that journey, seeing what we get, frog dude. Um, you know, like, I don't know what's in the set that's, like, bizarrely, off kilterly like, expensively good. Like, I haven't looked. I probably won't look, uh, for ever. Because I just don't care that much what, you know, things are doing in standard or why something, you know, that's a four of in a certain deck, you know, and that tournament play stuff is 
worth so much and things like this because of that. I just don't care. All right, well, as I said, that's kind of cool, an ancient den. But, as I said, we kind of lucked out pretty quickly. But I'm just going to move these pretty quickly into the box over here, these commons and uncommons, because we're not going to focus on those. We're going to move those out of the way because we've still got one card left before we completely pack, pack it in and pack it up. I've moved these art cards. And I'll move some of these tokens because we'll be keeping most of the basics. Um... But the rest can go in the box because we do not give a flying hoot about them. So just try to be careful with it. As careful as we can be. Oh well, now it's away from the thing. So now I don't have to be as careful. And that's actually that at all now. And it's a nice artwork. Wondering what it was, what was on it. All right, and of course it's pretty printable. So this, what could this be? I don't know. What is this? Some random uncommon. Wow. Um. Okay. Sure. Whatever. <laughs> That's a. Bit that's a bit of a letdown, but whatever. I'm sure that there's so many uncommons uh, in this uh, lot that are everyone kind of just goes, yeah, it's it's there and whatever. Especially since the uncommons are going to turn up much more regularly than the rares or mythics or anything like that. So, of course, you got to take the the good with the bad. I'm just taking those foil lands out of my piles of stuff here. Just making sure. There we go. That's pretty cool. Keep those. Don't care about you. So, like, of course, as I say, the big mythics are probably where it's at. We got, we got some mythics. Which, you know, we also got a couple of the commander ones, which are there. I don't know, um, like, let's just quickly look through the rares. And let's try to, like, because I don't know standard and stuff like that, but this is probably a commander card. This is probably a commander card, but even there it's not that good. That's definitely just bulk. That's probably bulk, bulk, probably bulk for Commander. Uh, that's Commander. That's not even in the set. That might be good. Um, that might be good. That's probably a Commander card. Commander card, not even in the set. Commander. No. Could this do anything? Probably, but maybe just in Commander. That's... This, like, Standard will take what it can take. Like, but this is also more of a Commander card. No, no, no. No, no. Oh, yes. Yeah, st standard will take what it can get. So... Oh, that's from the thing. Yeah, and the rest I don't think is... I don't know, like, I, I'm not, like, a, like, hot on, like, knowing anything about the format either, so I just wouldn't know. So, there might be stuff here that is good for standard, but I just kind of look over it, because I just kind of look at it from the perspective of how, like, low to the ground is this, how, like, can a control deck use this as its finisher, or whatever, those sorts of things, those little things that I do know about, like, you know, the f the competitive formats, but beyond that, no, I don't know. I don't understand it. I don't focus on it. I don't figure it out. I don't really care that much, but 
Let's see specifically what I want besides this. Maybe this, but that's a maybe. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. Maybe this, and that's another maybe, but I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Um, maybe that too, but again, that's a maybe. Um... Uh, that's a maybe. That's a maybe. That vampire. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's about it. <laughs> so, not very exciting. A lot of stuff. The stuff we got before was much more for what we want. And, you know, this stuff that we got before can certainly go into this sort of pile as well along with this so we really did not get a lot of stuff that we really really wanted but you know like like i said we weren't looking for a lot of stuff specifically so it's harder to get the things that you really want when you're opening things like this and just like gambling essentially um which is why you should buy singles i only do this stuff Mostly just for you guys, just to see, you know, me cracking packs and whatnot. I like cracking packs too, but, you know, at a certain point, I stop, you know, purchasing standard ones because standard prices are just in the toilet for the most part, especially for, like, non-foil, non-foil art, you know, just the basic treatment sort of style stuff, is, which is what you're mostly going to get. So unless it's the full art, foil, altar, whatever... Um, of a card for the most part that is going to see you know very heavy standard play or very heavy commander play or whatever modern play blah 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 all that stuff it's not going to be worth a lot so you know like a lot of these cards just aren't going to be worth a lot because you know they don't fit into the meta game of standard they're not that high in commander yeah sure some of the commanders will command some price but not huge like there'll still be a heap of edgars because you know there's 50 uh he's a con he's a rare you know there's a heap more chances to get him and there's like five or six or seven other versions of this card altar foil foil altar you know like all that stuff that mean that this guy the just basic plain one is just going to be like maybe a dollar or two or something so yeah, that's how it is. Like, I look at it from that perspective. But from the perspective of saying, well, we didn't get... We might have got what we was worth. But, you know, that's not what it's about. Like, all I do is hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you did, you can let me know what you think. You know, like, if you're a real standard player or whatnot, you just look at these cards that I've got. Maybe I'll go too fast sometimes or whatever. But... You know, you really did get to see most of them anyway. Oh, like, these aren't in standard, but still. Like, most of these cards that are in standard, you know the ones that are not in standard anyway. Come on. Or you should know if you actually follow, like, what what goes on in the metagame and things like that. Um, which ones of these are actually, like, decent? Like... I don't know, I don't play that format, and I don't care about that format. That's for those people who actually do care about that format, you know, you know, to figure out. But anyway, as I say, you guys can let me know what you think, write your thoughts down there in the comments below, I'll be sure to try to respond to you, I'll really enjoy interacting with you all, uh, talking about all the geeky things we all enjoy, and yeah, I'll just see you down there in the comments, or I'll see you in the next one. Hey, you've just finished watching one of our videos. A bunch of other videos are popping up on your screen now for you to check out, so why not check them out?